hopefully today is the last time we're going to talk about videos with empty garages. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. All right. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Had to head into the office. We're finally on the road heading to hopefully a solution of uh, empty garageness. Now, does anybody ever notice that typically when I'm heading to Intune Marine, there's tacos involved? Uh, interesting coincidence. But basically, we got an hour and a half drive, and we are setting up to do a live lake test. So the boat should be ready. Normally, Intune Marine does a lake test. We're gonna do the lake test when I get there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well, and we'll be bringing the new bass boat home. And. You'll come along for the live lake test. Hopefully it goes well and uh, you'll get to see the boat. Kind of unpackage it, <laughs> if you will, live with me on the water and uh, probably JP from Intune Marine. So that should be fun. This is kind of an exciting day. I've pretty much been around bass boats and into bass fishing all my life. From Early on, when I was just a tiny little kid, I remember walking around the gunnels of my dad's, I'm not sure what year, probably 80-something Ranger, with a white and orange 140 Suzuki. That's where it all started with my dad. And then we had a tricked out tin John boat for a while that we fished out of. And then he went back to fiberglass. <clears throat> We had various models of 16, 18, 19, 20 foot uh, Aries fiberglass bass boats that were really fun, fun to drive. My first bass boat that I personally owned was a 19 foot Aries with a 200. That was a great boat as well. Caught a lot of fish out of that. It met an early demise due to a transom failure on the river. Uh, and then that boat, you know, the, the insurance on that boat ended up rolling into the bass cat that you have seen for, if you've been around the channel at all, that have been for the past, you know, I don't know, six, eight years or so. Caught a ton of fish out of that, made three national championships uh, for the Bass Nation. And now, for the first time ever, I'm about to purchase a brand new, not just new to me, but a brand new bass boat. Bigger, bigger motor, faster. <laughs> Definitely more expensive. Definitely say this is a financially irresponsible decision, but sometimes you gotta treat yourself. And uh, worked hard for this, and it's, it, you know, the time I was ready to get a boat. And this is, you know, largely due to a lot of you that watch the channel, support the channel. So this is an exciting time for me, myself, but also hopefully for a lot of you that are, you know, part of the community, right? This is gonna be the new platform that we, you know, film and fish a lot of videos, and fish tournaments out of. And so, you know, really honest, you guys are coming along for the ride on so many levels. And I'm excited to share this adventure with you and new chapter in the channel and the fishing platform and the community. So this morning, before we got on the road, threw some life jackets in the truck, got a throwable preserver, some rods, a little bit of tackle, just so we can get a little bit of gear in there for when we take it out in the water tonight. Hopefully we'll be able to make a few casts, maybe christen the boat, flip the first fish, but we've got some of our gear in here so we can be street legal and hopefully take the boat out uh, beyond the lake test. And that'll all be coming up. And uh, I'm excited to share this with you. Exciting times. Cheers. All right, here we are at Intune. The boat is right here. We're gonna go take it to the lake. We're gonna lake test it, make sure everything's working. And we shall see what she looks like. Just 
stick it right in the dock on the very first one. <laughs> All right, so JP and I just ran through it, kind of checked all the latches and accessories and pumps and lights and trim switches and everything seems pretty much a go. So now we have to remember to pick up the trolling motor, but we're going to go maybe go rip around for a second. Got Ultrex, all that kind of stuff. You might notice the boat's a little stripped down. Kind of ordered it, stripped down, and we'll be uh, working on building out the electronics and all that stuff, and that'll be more to come. But for now, we're going to pop around a plane and rip around the lake a little bit and see what it's like. Let's do it. Alright, we just wrapped up the lake test. JP's getting the truck. We'll head back to the shop, wrap up a few things, and then you and I probably go find a little lake and maybe dink her in and see if we can christen her with a with a bass or two. Back from the lake test, and I guess if we didn't cover this, obviously the boat that I'm getting is the KMS CX20. And this kind of gunmetal red silver accent package. So we got it, we got some stuff in the back of the truck. We're gonna dip it in the lake, go fishing a little bit. But uh, as you can see, like I mentioned before, it's pretty stripped down. There's the Ultrex that I had them put on. Uh, I'll be doing the graph work and that kind of stuff and future rigging, that'll be future videos. So if you wanna see how we're gonna rig this thing, how we're gonna deck it out, you'll definitely wanna subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss that. But let's throw some Dobbins, let's throw some tackle in here and uh, let's head to the lake. All right, well, it's official. So I don't know bangers, like I feel like the first time I left the hospital with my first kid yeah. and I was like, are you sure you're going to let me leave with this? Am I ready? Am I trained? Like what? You're okay. You're okay to leave with this, Richard. Okay. The time has come. But uh, so I think this makes me officially part of the Intune family. Thanks, Brian and Aaron. You're welcome. And we're going to hit the water and uh, get some stuff ready. And we'll see you Sunday for a little on the water derb. Absolutely. I'll All see right. you at the lake. Thank you. All right. Found a little clean lake. Only bass boat at the ramp. Nice clean water, so we don't have to worry about getting any scum on her just yet. And we're gonna do a little bit of break in, a little bit of fishing, see if we can't christen the new KMS CX20. And by the way, you know what? This boat definitely is gonna need a name. So let's start taking suggestions and nominations in the comments below for what we should name this KMS CX20. But until then, let's pop her up on plane, do a little break in, and see if we can't catch a brown or a green one tonight. <laughs> that loon is all up in our business. It's just checking it out. It's pretty cool. It's like following me, swimming under my boat, following the prop, like checking out my motor. Right there he is. I'm gonna try a little hair, a little ear and teal custom hair jig. We lost a small mouth there. Little football. Look at that little football. <laughs> Just a little chunk. How fat he is, he almost looks like a rock bass. But I know better, I'd say he was a rock bass. <laughs> Look at that little butterball. Here's to future butterballs like this little guy. Okay. 
this. Seems like I got a dead stick, and every time I sit down, that's a little better fish. Cut through the weeds out there. Good look at it. I think it's green. Here's the first good one in the new boat. Look at that. Seems like when I slow down and let it sit there, a little bit better fish are picking it up. Get her back in the water. Nice fish. More of those to come in the new boat. All right, combination of just wacky rig with the arsenal bands and drop shot wacky rig. Stick baits, max hand generals, little senkos. Seems to be getting a little bit better bites. We're gonna stick with it. We probably don't got too much time. We have to head her home, put her in the garage, and start getting working on her. All right, let's go cruise around and see if we can catch one on a bait caster. Wacky rig strikes again. Try to catch them on a bait caster, but post spawn. The fish tell you what they want, not what you want to catch them on. Not a bad fish at all. Catch them all the time. Sticking them. Little VMC weedless Nico hook. Time to put her on the rack and talk about our day. Like I mentioned, the boat is super bare bones. Tomorrow in the garage, we're gonna start loading it up. We're gonna get more gear in it, get more prepared, make sure we got pliers in the boat, probably get the first step finder on, start getting the mounts on, and get a little more ready before we start breaking it in the rest of the way. But either way, there's gonna be a whole series of videos on the evolution of like this bare boat uh, purchase and how it's gonna end up, how it's gonna get rigged, how it's gonna get decked out. So make sure you follow the channel, subscribe. If you're interested in the Camus products, the CX-20 or anything like that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you follow along to see how this unfolds and how this will really be decked out when it's a full tournament rig. Not a bad first trip. We didn't smash them. I don't know if it was a good omen that our first fish was a smallie or a bad omen that our first fish, or all our fish, were on spinning gear. But we did catch a couple good ones, so all in all it was a good night. We got the boat out, we got a few more, a little bit more time on the break-in. Caught a few nice fish. Just got to have some relaxing time with just me and the boat uh, in kind of its simplest form with no electronics or depth finder, just a trolling motor. Fished some inside weed lines, caught a few nice fish. Got my first smallie in the Camus and uh, all in all a good night. I just want to shout out, you know, Binti Marine from Aaron to Brian to JP for all making it come together. Plus the people in the office, the people in the rigging crew that are working long hours to get a bunch of people their boats out this spring. When they're slammed, they're going the extra mile to get as many out and turn them around as quick as they can, which is super awesome. So kudos to Into Marine. 
super happy I purchased the rig from them and excited to fish the rest of the summer and uh, make a bunch of memories in this boat. If you're interested in the test drive that JP and I did that absolutely sealed the deal on me ordering this Camus CX-20, make sure you check out the video on the screen right here.